I had heard all kinds of, uh, you know, warnings about my friend here and uh, how I should be very wary of him and be very careful, you know. And what I discovered was a person who was very open, who really was eager to learn and to understand and to experience. And what I thought was especially of interest is that we both have a philosophical background. So the, our experience together wasn't limited to just mm -hmm. seeing the agony and the horror of, uh, of Auschwitz, um, you know, and Dachau, but really to see how two people from different religions having a profound philosophical interest in education could find many levels of ways to communicate with one another and be mm -hmm. able to understand one another better. I mean, uh, I went on the trip uh, with very minimal knowledge, really, of uh, the Holocaust. My upbringing uh, did not furnish me with that type of, of understanding. And um, I, I went with a very open mind. I wanted to see uh, with my own eyes. Uh, I wanted to experience uh, with a group of rabbis um, uh, the emotional, the historic legacy that is left in Auschwitz. And, it was a very moving experience, there's no question about that. And the sheer, I think I said this to you multiple times, the sheer inhumanity of it is still, it's difficult uh, for one to grasp. And uh, I think I, 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 you know the phrase never again, I think it really now resonates with me in particular as an American Muslim who's now facing a little bit of hostility, a little bit of, of Islamophobia. Uh, and I think more than ever, we do need to unite uh, against all types of bigotry and hatred. Well, I think one of the things that we certainly learned uh, of being together, and it was not just with him, but with the other Muslims, is how much we really want to do things that are good for society and good for one another mm -hmm. and how you know like just recently this whole issue of boycotting this uh, show is really not the way to deal with it yeah what, what, what a boycott to me uh, translates into is I choose to remain ignorant I don't want to know anything and the sad fact of the matter is there are many Muslims who choose to remain ignorant about the Holocaust there are many Christians who choose to remain ignorant about the teachings of Islam and there are people of every faith who choose to basically blockade themselves and not want to humanize the other and as long as people continue to do that that is where misconception stereotypes dare I say sheer hatred and evil uh, can um, basically uh, there's gonna be fertile ground to grow